Okay. All right. So this is our standard, and I already divided it into three sections. Use a combination of drawing, dictating, so dictating meaning verbally saying, and writing to compose opinion pieces in which they tell a reader the topic or the name of the book they're writing about. So student will be able to tell a reader. So tell a reader the topic or the name of the book they're writing about. And then share an opinion or preference about the topic or book. For example, my favorite book is blank. So this section is already divided into three different standards. As you can see, we're, we're putting it into smaller steps because achieving everything in one day for a kindergartner, that's, that's a lot, that's too much. Okay, the big idea or concept. What are the big ideas or concept that students absolutely need to get out of this unit? Okay, they need to be able to draw about the book, whatever the drawing is, because one of the standard of kindergarten is they need to properly hold pencils. So writing, if they're scribbling, if they're drawing, whatever they're doing with the pencil, it's really important because this is something that teaching the student to hold pencils properly. Able to draw about the book. Okay. Let's do students. Students need to be able to draw about the book. Students need to be able to name the book they are writing about. So you'll see that we see repetition and that's not a bad thing because repetition is good in a sense that we are revolving around one idea and making sure students, they get it before moving on to the next section. Student will, students need to be able to draw about the book. Before they draw, students need to be able to hold a pencil as expected. Okay, so they, they need to be able to hold a pencil properly in order to draw, right? And in kindergarten, that's what we're really doing at the very initial stage. Okay, so students need to be able to name the book they're writing about um, and then share an opinion or preference about the topic of the book, topic or the book. Students to be able to understand differences between document fiction okay. students to state their favorite book. Okay, um, I think we can replace um, need to with should. Student need to, should be able to. Yeah, I think should be is fine. Okay. Okay, should be able to.
well, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll have to revise it. Student should be able to hold a pencil as expected. Students need to be or should be able to. These are expected. Uh, should be able to draw about the book. Students should be able to name the book they're writing about. Students should be able to understand uh, differences between documentary book or fiction. Students should be able to state their favorite book verbally, right? There. Essential question, open-ended use to guide inquiry into the big idea or concept. Have no simple right answer are meant to be argued. Uh, students should be able to under answer the question by the end of the unit. This is the stage where we're also introducing them about different types of book, right? So you might bring in various type of books and say, is this a book or not? It's a little game, right? Are you bringing a book? What makes a book a book? Because right now we have eBooks as well that we read. Um, so is this a book or not? You can play a small game. Um, so in that case, um, you bring in a, an, an iPad or a Kindle and say, is this a book or not? So they, they start based on is this, a, they will give you an answer, is it a book or not? Um, you bring in a felt book with soft pages and say, is this a book or not? Say, oh, it's a book, it's not a book. What makes a book considered a book? Okay. What ideas a book hold? What type of, what do we have in a book? What do we see in a book? Is in a book. What's in a book? Okay. And can you draw a book? Book. If you could book, what would it? Be about. If you could make a book, what it would it be about? So these are some of the essential questions that's going to lead our discussion. Students will understand and know what key knowledge will student acquire as a result of this unit. Again, we're going to repeat what we wrote, wrote down. So should be able to, in this case, key knowledge. Meaning different types of book. Student will see the word here will, will will come come over again and again. Maybe for a student will draw since that's our first standard. Marker to draw. Types of book. is between a book and document, right? A document, book, uh, what's, what's the differences? What are the differences? Go back to the standard, share an opinion and preference about the book, okay? Student will. So the, these are some of the things the student will know, will be able to do, will understand. Think in terms of nouns and in terms of content. 
So some of these part, we can differentiate it out and write what specific understanding about the big idea or concept are desired. Our main goal, again, we're going back to the, we're circling around the standard here. They will be able to draw about their favorite book. They will be able to name their favorite book. They will be able to verbally share opinion about their preference. Which book do they prefer? So these are the big ideas in this section. Um, and then the student will be able to, what key skills will student acquire as a result of this unit? Okay. To choose their favorite book. Okay. So, students will be able to choose their favorite book from the library and explore the book independently. We're not expecting a kindergartner to read the book. Rather, if they're just going through the pages, observing it, um, looking at the pictures, and maybe even creating their own story based on the picture, that's, that's wonderful to see. That's something we want to see in kindergarten. Miss Jennifer, go ahead. Can we add in the skill of uh, uh, for strengthening their motor skills? I mean, um, fine motor skills. Yeah, absolutely, I think that's a, that's a great idea. Yeah, strengthening their motor skills or fine motor skills because it's we're using their finger, right? Learning to turn the pages. Okay, student will be able to choose their favorite book from the library and explore the book independently will be able to draw about their book independently, right? That's the key word, independently, without any support. Uh, we asked the student, oh, can you draw about your favorite book? Sure, yeah, I'm going to draw it. I don't need any help, okay? Student will be able to, what else? Again, going back to standard, uh, verbally express it. Okay, this is important. So we'll verbally share about their favorite book. Okay, what else? Uh, draw, we covered that. Draw about the book. Okay. Tell the reader, so verbally tell about the book share opinion about their favorite book. I think we covered three sections. Okay. Next stage, assessment. How will students demonstrate desired understanding throughout the unit? So that, that brings us to feedback. Um, that brings us to formative or summative assessment. In this case, we're going to be focusing on formative assessment. Remember the questions we have formed, the essential question, is this a book or not? What ideas a book hold? What is in a book? Can you draw a book? Can you make a book? If you could make a book, what would it be about, right? When they answer these questions, that's when we know they are developing understanding, they're developing ideas. So we're going to copy paste it. Okay, student will, student will demonstrate understanding by answering the following questions. Question follows, how will feedback of progress be given to students to assist them in their learning. So this is the part when the teacher is asked, are you observing? What type of observation do you have? You know, what happens if a student is struggling to hold a pencil? 
a student is struggling to turn the pages. How will you give them feedback? How will you give them that support? Okay. Um, so the essential question does not have a definite right or wrong answer. Thus, the student is given option to explore their interest in specific genre of books, okay? So it doesn't have any right or wrong answers. Okay, how will feedback process be given? Students that are struggling to hold pencil marker will closely work with teacher and students that are struggling to turn pages Pages will be given extra time to practice fine motor skills and just to so that we see improvement. Miss Jennifer, go ahead. Oh, it's from. Katie. I know it's okay. Oh, boys. Okay. Mm, that's that. And then other evidences by what criteria will performance be understood and judged through what other evidence, quiz, test, academic prompts, observation. Okay, observation. We'll have observation. We already mentioned about anecdotal record. So we'll have observation. Observations will be taken for students and struggling to hold pencil. Okay, uh, next section. Here comes the lesson plan. We, we, we did all the hard work. Now is the fun part, okay? Learning activities. What learning experiences, strategies, and instruction are you going to provide to enable students to achieve the desired results? This should be a step-by-step -step daily routine of the learning experience. The learning plan needs to guide you through the unit and each day's plan be short, a few words, or a short sentence. So in this case, day one, well, what, are, what are some things happening on day one? We're going to divide into five days. Four, day five. We don't have a lot of time, so we're only going to focus on day one, okay? So on the first day, what are we going to do? Okay. Again, going back to our standards. The first day, use a combination of drawing, dictating, or writing to compose opinion pieces. Tell a reader the topic or the name of the book they are writing about. Okay, I think that's a good start. Okay, because this way, we get to introduce the children about some books that are already available inside the classroom. So this is when you start doing a bit of research, you start planning for materials, okay? Needed, I have to list the materials that I need. Um, and then what else do I need? 
Let me look at the see I'm recording. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? We're good. I think I'm sharing the screen right now. Okay, good. So in this case, our lesson plan needs to be based on our standard. The first one we're going to do is tell a reader the topic or the name of the book they're writing about. So the first thing is the teacher needs to decide on a book, right? Um, so you as the teacher, can somebody tell us about a book? Whatever children book you're currently reading to your kids or you have available at home. Any ideas for a book? No, not really. Okay. Search classroom library for books that are available. Choose three books to introduce to the children and give options. So children, they can choose one book from the three that you got, you, you're going to read to them. Children. Okay. Watch a video about the book if available. Okay. So we're going to watch videos. We're going to um, read. So the teacher is going to read the kindergarten. They still don't know how to read yet. In this case, the teacher is going to read it to the student um, and then. Um, after that, we're going to talk about it. Who's the main character? What happened? Uh, how many characters do we have uh, in that? So in this case, these are the materials. We can summarize three books from on the classroom library. Three books from the classroom library. That's the material we're going to need. It's an outline. So we have. It needs to be very specific due to time. I'm not going to into it. Going back to evaluation. Formative assessment. assessment. So in formative assessment, we are checking, we're asking question about the book to see if students, they listen, they understood, they comprehend the information. Questions about the book to check for understanding, right? So in this case, what questions are we asking? Okay, so in this case, we're asking questions. Questions. Look. What is the title of the book? Who wrote the book? Do you know what an author is? Who is the author of this book? Okay. What is this book about? What happened in the beginning of the story. How many 
characters in this story. You get the point, right? Um, one question at a time, if they're able to answer it, then we'll move on to the second. Any questions so far? This is only first day. On day two, we're going to choose, we're going to repeat it. Same thing. Three more book, students get to choose one, and then we read it to them, and we ask the same question and re repeat for understanding. Ms. Rupa, go ahead. Ms. Adeja, sorry about that, but I have like um, one example. Hmm. So we made like before a Google Classroom. Yeah. So, and I wrote about the three little pigs uh, story. And then I made a question for about the little pigs. First, a little pig about the house. Yeah. How can, and like the second little pig and the author, the books. Right, right, right. I remember that. Absolutely. That can be definitely part of this lesson. Do you have it open in front of you, Ms. Rupa? Uh, yeah, I opened, but uh, like um, about the story, but um, I am searching the question answer, but it's not. Well, yeah, if you can find it, feel free to send it in the chat section. Okay. It would be nice to take a look at those questions. So in evaluation, basically, we're asking questions for verbal assessment. There are other ways to assist it as well. In this case, you have to do the research. You have to... Uh, search a little bit. In this case, I can give you a little bit of shortcut here. Teacher pays teachers, right? TPT. So if we go to TPT and search the standard, you can find various activities that you can apply inside the classroom. Uh, right here, we're focusing on kindergarten literacy week one. So just going to copy that and then search the standard it's for kindergarten. This is opinion writing. So this is what I did. Let me share my screen. You have the unit and then the standard together, so copy that, go to TPT, paste, search, and you'll see right here, the standard we just talked about, opinion writing, graphic organizer, prompts lesson, rubrics as well for kindergarten. Okay, we already have a lesson plan that comes with this set which is wonderful. Oh, right here, questions. What is your favorite food? So probably it's a book about food. Are apples, uh, okay, I can't read it. Let's go to preview. Lots of materials available, really. So based on each, you can, Select what lesson you're going to focus on, what part you're going to focus on. Okay, so answer your question. Is sunshine or snow better? What is the most interesting animal? What is your favorite season? So question and answer. One of the standard is they're going to be able to write opinion. So when you ask a child, which what's your favorite season what's your favorite activity what's your favorite book that's opinion they're sharing their thoughts their ideas so this part right here it covers the standard right here opinion piece being able to compose opinion pieces one standard let me see if we have any free materials selecting Free 
Christmas writing prompts. Middle school, we are focusing on kindergarten, pre-K. Okay, we only have one. Dinosaur, that's interesting. No preview. Google Drive, okay. So not, not a lot of free things, but know that every classroom usually has a budget that you can spend towards purchasing things like these from TPT or any other resources you use. Ms. Rupa, is it from previous conversation or? No, Ms. Radita, I will send you a mail in my, the classroom. Yep, that works, that's fine. Yeah, it's in your uh, inbox maybe. Oh, did you send it to me already? Yeah, I sent you. Sent it already. Let me see. Okay, I think I have it here. Ah, okay. I see, I can share my screen here. So Miss Rupa shared her three little pig assignment. Uh, I think it's from one of the modules where you guys were required to um, create a book. Is it from our class, Ms. Rupa, or from somewhere else? I don't know. Hmm. It's our class last, I don't know the module, but we make a classroom and then question answer. So, so it's a group of maybe Miss Belinda send me and I send Miss Belinda that one group maybe if she remember. Right. So part of the lesson plan would be watching this video, right? So after watching this video, you need to have a discussion about how many characters we have uh, based on the question. So the question is, why did the wolf Blow the pig's house down. Um, so I'm assuming in this story, the, the wolf blows down the pig's house. So make sure you include that in the discussion, in the Q&A session. And after that, student can uh, write the answer or select the answer. Ms. Rupa, go ahead. I think it's Ms. Belinda. Ms. Belinda, go ahead. Oh, I just want a response to Ms. Rupa that, uh, yes, I remember that. Okay. She did that. Yes, she did that. Let's do it together. Yeah, I think this is a great, This is, again, going back to backward planning, right? You already have the assessments, evaluations made. Now, when you run the lesson, you have to make sure you watch the video first and then you talk about it. You ask questions verbally. And some of the questions should be, well, what was the pig's house made of? Did the wolf eat the pigs in the end? Why did the third pig make the house out of bricks? What happened in the story? What was the takeaway from the story, right? So in backward planning, you have your formative assessment done or summative assessment done. Based on those assessment questions, you discuss uh, so that students are prepared to answer it when they're working independently. This can be part of the assessment we just completed. Do I have it open? No, I don't. Okay. I'm going to pause our recording here. Okay, so as we continue for each day, we need to divide up the work, right? It's not possible to cover all three parts in one day. As you saw that one of the examples we saw in TPT, just being able to write to compose opinion. So writing to compose opinion pieces. At first children, they're going to verbally compose opinions and then they will be able to write. So first verbally and then writing. Compose opinion pieces verbally first and then writing opinion pieces. Miss Melva, go ahead. Yes, Miss, I have a question. <clears throat> um, with the deviation of the task, like with what you've mentioned, um, the writing and composing opinion pieces, um, how many days would be the ideal to, to tackle that certain, um, certain task or that a goal? Very good question. 
Yeah, it really depends on your students, you know, the, the group of students you have, how advanced are they? Do they need more time? Usually in one standard, for one or two standard, you get one week. Now, it's not always possible to cover everything in one week. So you'll see teachers carrying forward standards. You'll also notice that some standards, they, they overlap. Um, they're similar to one another. So teachers, they used to, they, they combine it together and cover it one, in one week. So one standard, it's a week depending on students' progress students you know achievements if they're able to pass the evaluation formative assessments in that case we're going to um, jump into the next topic next week but things like writing composing opinion you carry it forward each week writing opinion uh, writing about the book writing or about um, their own opinion or summarizing the main idea. Um, so you'll see repetition of standards each week specific to writing or sharing ideas. So I, I guess there isn't any definite answer um, that one standard one week, rather it depends on the student's progress, uh, depends on what type of standard are we talking about, if it's about writing, well, it's every week. Repetition of same standard. And more added to it. Does that answer your question, Ms. Milva? Yes, Miss, thank you. No problem. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, you guys. It's a lot of work, especially if you're a new teacher. I think I've already mentioned it a thousand times. First year is the hardest. It just gets easier from there. First year is the toughest. If you survive first year, second year, it's easier, more and more easier as you go forward. Okay, so this template is available to you as well. Um, what I would like you to do is use TPT, use other resources you have. Ms. Rupa was also kind, and Ms. Belinda as well, was kind enough to share their of assessment and a little bit of learning or lesson plan with us. So use the previous resources you have as well, lesson planning you have as well, to create a learning design using this template. As I mentioned, you know, this is just a template. Different teachers, they use various types of template. Um, however, some of the essential part that stays constant is standards, the big idea, concept, essential questions that guides our lesson. Uh, what will the students understand? What will the student be able to do? And how are you going to assess them? How, how are you going to evaluate their progress? And then in, in lesson plan, materials. What materials do I need? The outline. What's happening at the first, at the beginning? How are you introducing the topic? Are you introducing with a video, with singing, dancing, question? How are you introducing the topic? Are we starting with definition or are we starting by um, doing a bit of singing? You know, everybody has a different approach depending on the topic. So you, you thoroughly describe what this lesson is going to look like when we practice it. So that's all about designing a lesson plan um, based on subject. Oh, the subject area, course, grade, kindergarten, the subject is ELA, English Language Arts, kindergarten. That's about it. I'll stop sharing.